Hey guys, this is Coop from GarageGymReviews.com and today I'm talking about this. This is the Prime Prodigy Rack, one of the most hyped up racks this year. It basically combines a functional trainer with a squat rack in a premium package that also has a premium price point. I'm going to talk about it today, go through all the accessories, all the details, and tell you if I think it is worth it. Let's get into it. So without a doubt, the Prime Fitness Prodigy Rack is one of the most talked about racks this year. I think outside of the Rogue Monster racks that are to come, this is probably the rack that most people are looking for. I've seen it on social media quite a bit because people are interested to see a rack that combines a functional trainer inside of a squat rack. Prime Fitness built this thing from the ground up to have this design, okay? So they can basically build it a little bit differently than somebody like Sorenex or Rogue, which are working around all of the things they've already come out with. I wanna make this clear, this product is way over engineered, it's way over built. There's definitely some shortcomings, some things I see that I'd like to see improved. Overall, it's an awesome rack. However, it's also pretty expensive. But before I get into that, I wanna talk a little bit about the functionality. So the front would be used similar to half rack, so you have your J cups, and then you put your safeties in the, in the bottom, and that allows you to use it like a rack but still be in a safe manner, okay? So if you like a power rack and you're lifting a lot of weight, really, I don't think this rack is necessarily designed for you. I don't really like to see power lifters lifting in half racks because if they fall backwards, then the weight's still gonna fall. That said, for most people, this is gonna be a great option because not only are you gonna be able to squat, deadlift, bench, do all the different traditional classic power lifts that you can do in a squat rack, it also allows you to have a functional trainer. And that's really the, the niche that they're getting into. It's a good rack, it's a decent rack, but it's not over the top better than other racks we've seen. It doesn't come with west side hole spacing. It's not super tall. It doesn't have uprights on both sides. But the real key here, and the reason that this is worth looking at, is because it combines the functionality of that half rack with really a, a really incredible functional trainer. So Prime Fitness is known for making awesome selectorized pieces. They've been doing it for years. They actually basically bought the rights to all of the old Strive Fitness equipment. They make it all in-house at Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at their manufacturing plant in the USA. Very few companies actually make the weight stack in the US. Most people make it in China. So that's the level of detail they're looking at. And that's one of the reasons that their products are expensive because they're all made in the USA using US source steel. They've added cable attachments to the top as well. Okay, so you can do things like lat pull downs, tricep push downs, those sorts of things, in addition to all the things you do with a functional trainer. So essentially what they've done is they've taken a lat pull down, a functional trainer, and then basically combined it in some laboratory to make this squat rack that can be used for just about everything. This takes three machines that are pretty popular in most gyms, also in most home gyms, and combines it in one unit. So I haven't seen another system as quality as this and can do as much as this. They only have holes on the front of the rack and the back of the rack. There's not many or any. I think there's maybe a couple on the side of the rack. So something to be aware of, but all their accessories that they make are compatible with this. They have quite a few. You can use most other accessories from other companies to go along with this if you wanna not spend as much as Prime is selling theirs for, or you already have them. One unique feature is they put numbers on the side of the post to identify where you're at. So if you're going up and down with the trolley, it allows you to see where the actual trolley's at, where the carriage is, um, or wherever you're putting your J-cups. It's a nice feature. I'm actually surprised they didn't decide to laser cut the numbers like most companies, because I already noticed they're starting to scratch a little bit, but I think it's a good touch that they've added on there. So this is the plate loaded version. They also offer it in a half rack, a full rack, and a selectorized version. This one is, I think, the option that most people will end up choosing and should choose, especially if you're in a home gym, because it's gonna be way less expensive. You can use the weight you already have. It's easier to move 
and it's a lot cheaper. The selectorized versions are definitely going to be smoother than the plate loaded version. That said, this one's pretty smooth. I really don't foresee a lot of people needing to buy the selectorized version if you're in a home gym. And this thing has a unique feature where you can go from two to one to a four to one ratio. And so I'll talk, about, I'll talk to you about that right now. So down here at the base of the rack, they've got this pin here that changes it from a four to one ratio to a two to one ratio. This is my first time seeing this. Uh, it may be out there somewhere, but Prime tells me this is like a patented thing they're working on. So what that means is it's, it's basically making the weight either much heavier or much less and also increasing the travel of the cable. So for example, if I put this on four to one, which really all that's doing is it's just keeping it out of the system, but you can put it in here just so it stays in there. And then to show you up here, if you grab the cable, you can pull it. I mean, you can do sprints with this. So if you wanted to do some sprint work where you attached it to a belt, you can, okay? You're gonna have to load up a lot more weight because it's probably about half as heavy. Pretty unique. But then if you wanna make it heavier for things like lap pull downs, rows, anything like that, then you can pop this pin into the two to one ratio. What it does is it makes the travel about half as much and it's a, quite a bit more heavy. So it goes about to here. The way I think of this is I'm using the two to one ratio when I'm doing lap pull downs or rows, things that are heavier. And then if I wanna use extra travel on the cable, then I'll go to four to one. But this is also a unique setup if you wanna superset. So if you wanna go from like curls to like lap pull downs, I know it's kind of a unique combination, but if you wanted to, you wouldn't necessarily have to change weight. All you'd have to do is take that pin out, make it much lighter, um, and then you're able to do it. I think that's one of the unique things about Prime Fitness is they're thinking about these things. This thing is completely over-engineered and so that's what they've been able to come up with. Okay, so in use, I really like using the unit. I definitely prefer having a standalone squat rack and a standalone functional trainer, but for most home gyms, this is a great option. That said, this is a premium company making premium products, and therefore it does have a premium price point. So I don't, I'm not sure the exact price point of this. I know they range from like 1500 to like six grand. I think the selectorized version is probably around six grand, and this is probably a little bit less. And then if you tack on the accessories on top of that, um, you know, you can deck it out and you can spend quite a bit on these. That said, when you look at it and you say, okay, it's a squat rack, it's a functional trainer and a lat pull down all in one. If I was to buy three separate units for that cost, how much would it cost? You'd definitely be spending at least close to that. And if you were to get like the level of quality that this is, you'd be spending a lot more than that. So it's something to consider. For home gyms, this is great. I've thought about how this would work in a commercial gym, and I think it'd be fine if it's like a personal training gym, but I think the issue would be it packs so much into one place, really only one person can use it as a at a time. So if somebody's squatting, you're not gonna also wanna be using the cable system. So really, I think this is ideally suited for the home gym community. The issue is going to be that price point. So if you want a premium rack, and you're looking at, say, a Sornex XL rack or a Rogue Monster rack or a Williams Strength Elite FTS, one of these big, expensive racks. This is on level with those. However, it offers more functionality. So overall, I like it. Now, I don't want to not talk about any things that I could see improved. I talk about this with every video. One improvement that I foresee is increasing the height of the unit. Because it's short enough, it doesn't allow you to get a full stretch. And also when you're doing pull-ups, I still have to like lift my feet off the ground to do a pull-up instead of like leaving them straight down. I mean, that's kind of how you have to do with a lot of racks. I would like to see, and I've heard they're actually working on a taller version for those that are like working with more athletes. But I think that's a version that I'd like to see. That said, for most home gyms that have short ceilings, this is gonna fit nicely in there. The pin posts, are stainless steel. The posts that connect to the J cups, they're not powder coated. I believe they're stainless as well. So they're not gonna corrode really easily. They're gonna look good for a long time. But another shortcoming I see with some of their accessories is like the J cups, for instance. 
We're so used to J-Cups being having UHMW plastic over the top, so not having that on a rack feels a little weird. So on their J-Cups, it's just metal on metal contact when a bar's on there and the paint's already scraping off. It's a nice J-Cup, it's a cool idea, but I would like to see them have plastic on there to protect the knurling so it doesn't end up getting worn down and also protect the J-Cup from looking bad over time. But the accessories, they've got a ton of them. So they've got dip bars that we've used that work really well. Um, the lap pull-down seat is one of my favorite. They basically <laughs> built this thing as they would any of their selectorized machines, which means it's really premium, great foam, great vinyl that goes over the top. I mean, everything about it is just, I mean, it's nice. It's not something you'd expect to just be an attachment. So this is really what it boils down to. Is the Prime Prodigy rack one I would suggest? I would suggest it to somebody who wants a whole lot of versatility, wants a very premium product, and also can and doesn't mind spending quite a bit of money on it. Because you could get away with just getting a standard, like cheap, you know, two by three, three by three post rack if you want to do cable exercises, doing some DIY type thing. This is for the crowd that wants the best of the best. There's a reason this has taken so long to come out because they spent a ton of time working on it. Um, and it's an awesome system. I think for most home gym owners, this plate loaded version is gonna be a popular one. I love the lat pull down. I love the functional trainer. I also like that you can use it as a squat rack. If you're looking for a all-in-one system for your home gym that doesn't take up a ton of space, I mean, really, this is your best option right now. There are some cheaper options like Rep Fitness, Force USA, they've got some options, but for that premium category, I think this is your best bet. But let me know what you think of the rack in the comments. Do you think it's overpriced? What do you think about it? Let me know, we'll see you next time. This has been Coop with GarageMReviews.com. Peace.